watch. Come, get come close. You're gonna give me in the kiss of here. Yeah. So, come close, guys. You gotta see right here. Stand up. <laughs> Closer than close. So, si je suis dans cette position, I'm in that position, I go to do an escape. Everybody always thinks this is a rotation. On pense seulement que c'est un rotation. But watch, the wall is here, the little space. Whenever I go to rotate, it's very hard to rotate exactly in my plane. Je ne vais jamais faire la rotation sur la place. This will always happen. Every time. Can you hear it? Yeah. That's what's going to happen every time. Right? So when I go to take somebody down in this position, il y a toujours, presque toujours, unless you're against somebody with no skill. Somebody with no skill, he's just going to try to twist back and forth, in which case you could probably pin him with a skin pin. I'm going to hold him like this. If I'm like this and I'm just kind of, you'll see guys doing this, and Darren goes to rotate, doesn't matter how hard I am, look at his head. Oh, he just lifted up a little bit. So the first thing I have to do is stop his northern thrust. Alors, je vais garder mon, mon premier jambe à midi. Some of us don't have flexibility. We're going to be here. It's okay, but you should try. I always say, if you don't have the capacity, at least have the desire, right? Tu besoin l'objectif. Ça, c'est ton objectif. Midi, puis neuf heures. I'd like to have nine at nine and noon, right? I'd like to have it split like this. Because this gives me my back push, right? And that gives me my front push. Because when he goes to move, if this leg is up like that, go to do it, turn around. See how my foot's moving? He's moving me everywhere. Look at the difference now. If I get in that position, and I put my foot down, and I'm nice and I'm planted. That's the first place that I feel resistance. Right? If my foot was against the wall and I was like that, oh, that'd be a nightmare for him. Let's show it. Watch this right there. Right? I could chill out here. That's like a wall of cement. That's what your Kaiser should like to have. And I'm barely using any power. That one. Yeah, you don't want to. Right? So that's the, that's what I'm trying to emulate. It's there an anchor. Right? It has to be a root. It has to be an anchor. It has to be like that. I have to have to. Nice and tight. Same time, he's going to try to do all the same work, but I'm going to try to always think of thrusting. If it's only there, I'm trying to get it there, right? Idealement, c'est plus sur les orteils, the blade of the foot, I'm really pushing like that. So if you're in socks or bare feet, it's going to be a little harder, but I want to, I want to root in there nice and tight. Make sense? And everything else stays the same. It just gets worse. Yeah. So, l'instant, on fait midi puis neuf heures. As soon as we start to do nine and noon, a lot of us start to do this, and then this, and this. In fact, there are styles that enseigne ça. A lot of styles teach that. Because it's the most natural. It's very easy. I don't want to say lazy, but it requires the least, right? So you'll see all over YouTube people teaching escape from Kezagatami done this way. Yeah. I even saw a few people teaching that this, way, this is the traditional way of doing it because it's more mobile than keeping the knee down. This is not true. Uh, dans mon experience, tous les arts traditionnels que j'ai fait, on a fait ça. This was the fire. All the traditional jits. This is how we did it. I got footage of me from 18 onward doing it like this. We used to do all those drills and snap it out. It's the oldest. I remember my Japanese teacher telling me the only thing from Western gym class you'll ever use is the hurdler stretch. And all the rest of it was like, eh, eh, all those types. This is the only thing, right? So that was the, that's how, how deeply this was taught. Alors, je crois pas que c'est plus traditionnel. I don't think it is. And even if it was traditional to do this, although I've seen no proof of it, it's not as good. I do not believe that's more mobile because if I want to move from here, there's a lot, it's a lot slower, more open, I'm more vulnerable than if I'm here. When I'm here, nothing covers your groin better than the planet, right? If he can grab my nuts and squeeze and twist and stab me in the gut, and I'm like that, I'm just inviting. This invites pushover and rollover. I don't want that. I want to stay low. I want to stay low and I want to crush with all my weight. So I feel this is much better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to keep this knee as low as possible. Mais pendant le, la lutte, as you wrestle, happens happens, human nature. Il y a des temps, on va faire ça pour ajouter compression. There are times we're going to do this when I know the it's time to put the squeeze on, he can't get me. But right, I'm, I'm going to start at first giving it to him like that, and then I'm going to slowly bring it down to however low I can. Puis quand c'est comme ça, maintenant, il veut faire tout le même travail, mais il veut lancer son pied. Oh, he wants to hook that in. Is there a high chance you're going to get a heel in the groin? There's a high chance you're going to get a heel in the groin. Right? Des fois, ça va rentrer. En réalité, on veut lancer le talon. Oh, oh, si fort que possible. That's what we would do in reality. You're not going to make a lot of friends. Bad for the groin. Bad for the adductor. Doesn't even feel so good on the knee. But he wants to hook it in. Puis quand il est là, maintenant, il peut sortir par le dos. He can go by the back. If I leave my arm there, oh, that's not so good. My arm gets out. He still has my back. And now it's a bad position for me. Right? Alors, au, le premier mouvement, prendre son dos. Right? It's inch by inch. As my, my teacher used to always quote. 
right? Eventually the snail will climb Mount Fuji. One inch at a time, one inch at a time. If not, if he hooks it and he can't take my back, the other option is he can use my hip, uh, his hips rather, and sometimes he'll even scissor his legs or cross it. He va just tourner les hanches. He just wants to think of his hips and his hips go from being like that to being over here. Whoop, and then that goes over. Mais c'est les hanches, pas ton dos. Right, if he's in that position and he thinks of pulling me just with his leg and his back, he's gonna rip something on him, not on me. Right, so keep me tight, he can, whatever he wants, and then he just looks and rolls, and that's a, whoop, that's a good position. Faire attention, parce que ça peut être dangereux pour le sujet, right? That sometimes it pulls the hip in a bad way, so if they're tapping on the way, don't wait till you get to the other side to release, because the adductor can be pulling, or des fois tu vas faire un, un dislocation doux, right? It's a very light dislocation, unless you go crazy. Um, but I want to be nine and noon, I want to have that as low as possible, and I try to bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, puis uh, idéalement, le fin, ça va être si bas, ça va être très dur. Right? By the end of it, it should be almost impossible for him to hook, unless he's amazing. It may be possible, yeah? Let's try it. Two minutes! Put the mental and incremental.